Good morning. <clears throat> this is spring break from my job at the elementary school, so I um, drove the truck over to my mechanic and walked back. It um, took less than 30 minutes to walk back, and I am uh, trying to decide uh, what's my next step. I've been keeping track of how many days of work I've actually worked at that school. And um, Friday was 39 days. I discovered how to drink water at the water fountain at school. We're not allowed to put our mouths on the fountain anymore because of COVID restrictions. So, um, I bought this uh, collapsible cup on Amazon. So you tighten it a little so it won't collapse again and put it on the water fountain and drink your water in the hallway. And get a few sips of water before the next class. Now very interesting, this past week the Dean saw me doing this so you know I smiled and I said well I finally figured out how to drink water from the water fountain <clears throat> you know with this small cup and she was very displeased she said that's not allowed you know there's a sign on the water fountains fill up a water bottle do not drink from the fountain well what does it matter if I have a cup instead of a water bottle? Am I supposed to hang a water bottle somewhere on me, like on a belt or something? I mean, you wouldn't believe the stuff I have in my pockets, you know, pens and paper and Band-Aids for some of the kids who want a Band-Aid and, and, and the phone and the wallet and the keys. I mean, lots of times I wear a light jacket just to get an extra pocket. So she just made a face and, and, and then she kept walking. Anyway, schools are filled with all kinds of, uh, any job is filled with all kinds of interesting personalities. I, I have lots of stories to tell, but uh, today is not the day. I um I saw this uh let me see was it first grade no second grade and this student he has a lot of allergies so he wore a cute little bracelet like this you know that had pictures like it had pictures of a giant peanut to let us know he has a peanut allergy and it had all other kinds of things cuz he has many allergies so I wanted to get a bracelet like that so I could have a saying on it. So I looked on Amazon and this looks very similar to like the one he had. I don't know if you could read it. I'll read it. <clears throat> you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. So this was to encourage myself and the students. Like some of the students get very nervous about, you know, like if they're making a mistake on the work and they get stressed out, they get tears in their eyes. So I thought I'd read them this little thing. Plus I look at it myself when I'm getting stressed out with um, the bureaucracy and uh, the clue, the cluelessness of uh, many employees, and and the way they're doing things there in the school. I mean, I could write a book. And actually, I'm thinking, uh, I have lots of books. Well, maybe twelve books that I wrote, and I have on Amazon. And um, I could do that, or I could just make a big video about all the problems in public schools and some of the things um, I, I'm just I, I'm just shocked but uh, 
not today, not today. This week I need to catch up on gardening and weeding. It was so wonderful yesterday, Sunday, to be outside and use the weeder and, and the fresh air and hear the birds and have the place start starting to look better. This is um, this is the time of year for planting for uh, many, many vegetables. Some of them um, are for next month and the month after. You can find planting guides online. Um, there's lots of nursing jobs available because uh, they they don't have an opening for me during the next school year, which starts in the starts in the autumn. But it's it's hard to find a nursing job that's in the daytime and that is not a 12-hour shift. I mean, what's wrong with these people? They want you to work from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. I mean, do they think that's healthy for for our our circulatory system, or our legs, our feet, our eyes. I mean, and then what? You're going to get home at night, and and it's, what kind of existence is that? Um, I don't know. Um, it seems that every generation is is devolving, not evolving. So I frequently think, how could anyone? believe in evolution when obviously we're not evolving. Um, does anything make sense? Is, is anything logical in, in our current society? The water's polluted, the air's polluted. Um, I, I was reading on Apple News last night on my phone that um, like 80% of the population used to be spiritual or be religious and now it's like 50% or less and the people I see at work they just they don't know they're clueless um, I mean the way they dress their values and this uh, that video I made about the uh, food wastage and they're so they're actually teaching kids with to, with their behavior and with the, the system of doing things there, they're teaching them to waste food. I don't think they would learn that at home. At home, you'd wrap it up and you know put it in the put it in the refrigerator or the freezer, or maybe you'd give it to the dog. Or if if it wasn't an animal product, you, you know you'd put it in the compost. Or maybe your neighbor next door just loves the way you cook, and you'd give it to them. Um, I, I'm just speechless sometimes, the things I'm seeing. And there's a tremendous generation gap. I say certain phrases and, and people just don't even know, know why I'm saying that and what I mean. Uh, a lot of things I say might be from a, a famous song or a popular movie yet. But they never heard that song or saw that movie, so, you know, I could seem to them like, you know, I'm just out of this world. But, um, well, I'm going to keep thinking and getting my thoughts together. And uh, if I could find a, a part-time nursing job that uh, looked like my nursing duties would be ethical, then uh, I'd, I'd probably take that soon. Well, hopefully more at a later date.